guys, it's Elaine, the Ninja Life Coach, and today we're going to be doing a wig unboxing. I have a company that sent me some wigs, and I'm just going to unbox that here on camera. I have no idea what's in this package, but we're going to look, we're going to see. Sit back, grab yourselves a cup of coffee, I'll be right back. Hey everybody, I'm back. As I had spoken about before, I had this company that contacted me just clear out of the blue and asked me if I wanted to review some of their wigs. I went online and looked at some of their products and I said, sure, I'll be happy to review some of your wigs. Let me just, you know, let me know which, wh when and where and everything. They said, well, what's your address? And I sent, I sent it to them and I really never expected to hear back from them. But three weeks later, I've got a package of wigs right here. Now, I think there's three or four wigs in this package. From, t from feeling of it, that's what I think. I have just cut this open, and I'm going to reach in here, and we're going to see what the first one is. The first one is Anna Emma, style number 2716, color 4D. It says 100% something, but it's in Chinese. I have no clue what that says. The second one is Emma. Style number 11257, color 27T613. This looks like a blonde wig. It looks like it's heat resistant. There's a picture on the back with a curling iron in the wig. This one is by ZYR. Style number HWG952, color 33. TR 613D. I had to look at that because it's the writing's kind of small. But this one looks like a blonde wig as well. And gosh, there's another one. Here's the other wig. This is wig number, this is another wig by Emma. This is style number 112577, color 30. D. I'm so excited to get these on my head because as you guys know, I really love cheap wigs. So here we go. Let's just try one at a time. And guys, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to have to pause after each wig and I'm going to style them just a bit. The reason I'm going to do this is because the company has requested a video on each individual wig in exchange for me doing this review. So this may look a little bit odd, may look a little bit different than some of my other wig unboxings, so that's why. I don't want to have to make two separate videos. So here I go. I'm going to pause it and be right back. I'll have one of these wigs on my head. Okay, so when I came back, I don't have the wig on my head because I wanted to look at the inside of the wig and I wanted to show you just a bit. So I put on a wig cap and a wig grip, and I know this, is, this looks absolutely funky and horrible, but oh well. The inside of this wig has, it's got a lace top. It's got the open wefts, which is kind of nice. It means it'll be a little bit cooler. This wig is not extremely heavy. The hair feels fairly good. Um, it's got a little bit of permatease right back here at the crown, but I don't see a great deal of permatease. It's got some, but it doesn't have a great deal of permatease here in the front. Um, let me just pop it on my head and we'll just see how it goes. Okay. Now, um, I am not certain about the fit of this wig. I will tell you now, if you have a larger head, this wig most likely will not fit you. It most likely will be too small. This is a smaller wig. It's probably designed for a more petite head, but I've got to say, as far as the comfort of the wig, it feels nice. It's not really itchy anywhere, but I do have on the wig. I do have on a wig cap, and I have on the wig grip, so anything that, you know, is going to be itchy is, you know, pretty much I've got it covered by that um, wig grip. Um, I actually think the wig, wig, for what it is, for an inexpensive wig, I actually think the wig feels pretty good. Um, is it? Does it feel like a high-end wig? It doesn't. But I think for a costume wig, 
for an inexpensive wig, I think this feels really pretty good. I'm going to pause it just a second, and I'm going to go style it, and I'll be right back. Okay, I've done a little styling on the wig. I've put some John Renault piece out on it, and I've brushed it down good. Um, the wig fits really good. If you have a smaller head, this is a petite wig. I'm going to spin around and let you see the entire wig. Here we go. I actually like this wig. Um, I'm really surprised. I'm, I'm a little bit taken aback by the wig. I was not expecting it to feel this good. This wig actually, for an inexpensive wig, it feels pretty good. I don't think this wig is going to be exceptionally hot either. I would probably thin it out just a bit on top because it's a little full, but other than that, I really like the wig. I'm not sure that brown is my color, but other than that, I really, really like the feel of this wig. I like the looks of the wig. I think for an inexpensive wig, this is a, this is a hit. So on to the next one. Let's see what this next one is. Hold on just a second. I'll be right back. Okay, so here she is right out of the box. She doesn't have an extremely large cap either. She's rather a small wig as well. So if you have a petite head, this wig will fit you. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to style her just a little bit. I'll be right back. I really like the color and gosh, the hair on this wig actually feels pretty good. I'll be right back. Okay, I've got this wig on my head. And I put a headband on with it just to style it with it a bit and to kind of hide the crown. There's a little bit of permatease up here in the crown. There's a little more permatease in this one than there was in the other one. Now, this is not a very high-density wig, so this wig is going to be a little bit cooler than a wig that's, that's a high-density wig. This is a, a rather low-density wig. Um, I do like the feel of the wig. The wig, wig feels good on my head. There's no, no problems or anything like that. Um, the color is nice. I do think that the wig should be hit with a little bit of dry shampoo. It's a little shiny for my taste, but all in all, it isn't a bad wig. For what it is, for an inexpensive wig, it doesn't look bad. I'm fairly happy with the wig. I do like the feel of the wig. The wig, wig feels pretty good. It, the hair feels good. The, the quality of the hair is not bad for an inexpensive wig at all. So, I would recommend this wig if you're going to be going to the pool and you just need a wig to pop on your head or if you're going to just run around town or hang out at the ball field or something or you're going to be, you know, you just don't want to be seen with your biological hair, this would be a good wig to pop on your head for that. Now, is this going to be a daily wear wig? Probably not because it's an inexpensive wig and in ex any inexpensive synthetic wig, you're going to, you know, you're going to have to replace it fairly often. But for what this wig is, it isn't a bad wig. On to the next one. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, so here I am in my wig cap again. I went ahead and took it off because I just wanted to. So here's this wig. And here's... Here's the little... Oh, I hate that thing. This wig... I really like the feel of this wig right off the bat. This wig feels much better than the other two as far as the feeling of the wig. Now, this wig does have a lot of permatease in the crown, so if you don't like permatease, that may be a negative. Um, let's just pop it on my head and let's see what it looks like. The caps on all of these wigs are rather small. So if you have a larger head, these wigs are not going to work for you. These wigs are um, the, the caps are small, so you want to keep that in mind if you decide that you want to order these wigs. Um, okay. I'm going to have to play with this one a bit because this front is doing something funky and I don't know what it is. I'll be right back. Okay, I played with this a little bit. Went back in the bathroom, put some of that piece out on it, and here's the wig, and my dog is in here scratching, so if you hear something that sounds like a jingle bell, that's exactly what that is, but I do think that the part on this wig, I'm going to bring it in here to the camera so you can see, there's a lot of permatease in the part, a lot, 
and I am not real fond of that, and I'm not real fond about the way the wig looks in the front, but I tried putting this on my head, and I think this vastly improves the look of the wig. Now, here it is with the, with the bandana on. And I actually quite like it fixed like this. I actually like this style. I think it's kind of cute fixed like this. But as far as it being a wig to wear every day, I don't know that I could recommend it for that because it does look just a tad wiggy to me. But then again, it's an inexpensive wig. But if you do some of the accessorizing to these wigs, you can really make them look really, really good. I would have to absolutely use some um, dry shampoo on it. But all in all, not a bad wig. So let's move on to the next one. This one is number 2716 by Anna Emma. It is color number 4D. Let's see what this looks like. Let's open this up. And here we go. Now this is another brown one. This one looks like oh, these hair nets. Ugh hate those things. Ugh. So let's give her a good shake. Now this is a curly wig. This wig is going to be made like the other ones. It's going to have the open wefts and the lace top. The hair on this wig actually feels it feels quite nice. I mean, it's got a nice soft texture to it. Uh, the problem with these wigs are not the, the, the softness of the hair. The hair on all these wigs feel really feels really good. The only problems that I've really seen with these wigs from this brand have been in the part and in the... Um, in just the way the wig is styled. You have to, you're gonna have to mess with this, this just a little bit. This wig's got a little bit of permatease up here on top, as you can probably see. Um, be right back, getting ready to pop this one on my head. Okay, so here she is right out of the box, and it's a lot of hair on this wig, but the feel of the wig is not, is not bad. Um, if you do have a larger head, this wig would probably fit you. This one is a little larger than the other two wigs. Here she is all the way around. And I'm going to say I really don't like this right in here. There's a lot of permatease right here in the crown, as you see with a lot of um, less expensive wigs. But I do believe you might be able to steam that out. Got my bandana back. And I think if I were to do something... Kind of like this with it. <laughs> I'm going to have to go off camera and do this. Everything you do on video is backwards. So it's kind of like I can't even see what I'm doing here because it's you have to use the opposite hand and do all that stuff. Oh my goodness. I'm going to try this one more time. Okay. So here we go. Okay, so if I were to do something rather like this, this might not be too bad. Although, I've got to say, I almost look think I look like I'm getting ready to go pick grapes in wine country or something. I don't know. This reminds me of that Lucille Ball episode where she's stomping the grapes for some reason. I don't know. Um, the wig itself, honestly, is not a bad feeling wig. The wig, it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel bad. Um, I'm not certain that I look good in this color. Um, I'm really just... I really just don't like the wig all that much. Um, but having said that, as far as the feel of the wig, 
I think it feels all right. I think the hair feels okay. I think the only problem with this wig is the hair color just and the style. It just doesn't look good on me. But as far as the wig itself, it's not a bad feeling wig. Um, and if you don't mind wearing, you know, a headband or a turban or something to kind of hide some of the, the front of the wig that looks so extremely wiggy, I don't think you could go wrong. I don't really think that, you know, you'd, you'd be messing up too bad if you did something like that. Um, I'm just, I mean, I'm trying really hard to say something positive about this wig. Um, I think it looks better like this. I don't think that that's bad, I, I necessarily a bad look. So if you wanted just a costume look or wanted a specific look for the day, I think the wig would be fine. I think this for a costume wig, I think it's fine. For a daily wear, I, I wouldn't. But if you're going to dress up as a character or if you're going to go do something of that nature, if you're going to be doing cosplay or just, you know, have a fun fashion wig, I don't think it's bad. I think you can take these inexpensive wigs and do stuff with them, and they look fine. Uh, um, I almost feel like with this part right where it is, I'm almost thinking that you might could do something even like this, pull part of it up on the side, and maybe put that back in a clip, and that might help the wig just a bit if you did that. For, I, I mean, for me, where it would not be quite so full on the sides. I almost feel like I'm channeling one of Charlie's angels or something with this <laughs> with this hair winged out on the side. I don't know. This is not my best look, but by golly, this sure has been fun. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching me do this Amazon wig unboxing. And I just wanted to, um, one more time, tell you that if you're going to purchase a wig to wear every day or a wig to just have fun with or something of that nature, there's a difference in buying just an inexpensive wig just to do some cosplay or go to a costume party or just, you know, a fun fashion look. There's a difference between those types of wigs and the wigs you wear every single day. These wigs are fun wigs. They're fashion wigs, but they're not real quality wigs. So I'm going to drop a link down here for all of them so you can take a look at them. I would recommend them for a costume type of situation, for a cosplay wig. They're fine. The hair on them doesn't really feel bad and they're perfectly fine for something like that. Or if you wanted to mess with them just a little bit and maybe tie a scarf or something around them, it makes a little bit of difference in how the wig looks. But at the end of the day, <laughs> These are nine, nine to ten dollar wigs. They're not expensive wigs. But boy, this sure has been fun unboxing this, hasn't it been? You guys have a great day. When you get an opportunity, visit my website, ninjalifecoaching.com, and hop on over to Amazon and check out my book, Lord Am I Going Crazy? It's a 30-day devotional guide for women over 40. And when you get an opportunity while you're over there on Amazon, check out my Amazon store. It's it's uh, amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash Elaine Jackson. I'll drop a link for everything down there in the description box. Hope you guys have a great day today. God bless. Maranatha.